What's up everybody, this is My Two Cents, and today we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing and installation of these Weston Protrax 4-inch. Uh, these are the black step rails or nerf bars, whatever you want to call them. Now we have our box of parts here, and on the inside we have both step rails and this box of stuff. So we're just going to crack this box of stuff open and see exactly what's on the inside. We have our red nerf bar, which is the passenger side, and the clear bubble wrap nerf bar is the driver's side. Inside the box we have our instruction manual. We have a bracket. This one is different than all the rest. So this is the driver's side bracket on the front. And then the five remaining brackets are all identical. And one thing that you want to pay attention to is there's actually a stamp marking on them. And I'll show you that in just a few seconds. Two bags of bolts, one of a kind of our L brackets, and then one of all of our lock washers, nuts, and bolts. Now here's the pressing. DR stands for driver. Rear, DC, driver center, PF for passenger front, PC for passenger center. They may have this tape over your mounting hole, so go ahead and remove the tape. We're going to go ahead and put our rib sets in first. And they may be a little loose, and that's okay. These will crush against the frame as you're doing the installation. We just want to get everything finger tight at this point. So we're going to go ahead and put our bolt in to the front driver's side. And the way that you always want to install your bolts is washer, lock washer, bolt. Washer, lock washer, bolt. Now there are two different sizes of lock washers and washers. The larger ones go towards the L bracket on the bolt side that is larger than the rest. We have both of these two bolts in. We're going to go ahead and put these smaller Allen head bolts and the nut on the side of it. This only is unique to the driver's side. So this bracket is different than all the rest. You just want to get it finger tight so when we install the Nerf bars, everything can be moved around. This is the L-shaped bracket with the bolt. We use the plastic lock washer to make sure that it doesn't fall inside of the frame. Just kind of get everything lined up as best you can. We'll go ahead and put our rift set in the secondary hole. Now, your vehicle may not need the rift sets. It could be factory installed. Uh, if so, you can go ahead and leave those rift sets out. We'll go ahead and put our bracket on and put our washer on, our split lock washer, and then the nut. Go ahead and get this finger tight. We'll go ahead and insert our bolt lock washer and washer onto the rib cert. And then we'll go ahead and put our bolt into the opposite side of the bracket. Same exact installation for the remaining five brackets on the truck. And we're making sure that the two flanges towards the front and center are pointing toward the front tire and the flange for the bracket on the back is pointing towards the rear tire. Now with all the brackets installed, we'll go ahead and put our step rail on and just line up the holes to the bracket below. Then we can go ahead and take our Allen bolt with our washer and a serrated lock washer and insert it into the step rail itself. Again, just getting it finger tight as we'll go ahead and adjust this after uh, we get everything kind of in place. This will be the exact same process for all 12 bolts going into the bars themselves. All right, just getting it nice and snug and getting ready for the adjustment of the rail. So just making sure that it's level Make sure the brackets behind it are level. The step rail is level where you want it to be. You could break out an actual level. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but uh, you could if you wanted to. Now, here's the important part. You want to make sure that as you're tightening these rib certs down, that they are nice and snug against their frames. We need to put pressure against the bracket as you'll be crushing them against the frame and permanently installing them into the truck as you tighten these down. That was a great video on uh, how these actually function. I can put that in the description below. Uh, so if you want to get a better idea of exactly what you're doing, you can check that out. All right, just getting it nice and tight. Uh, you should be actually torquing these down with a torque wrench. I never have used one. I've always had success. I'm not condoning that. Uh, but uh, in the manual itself, it'll tell you uh, the exact torque needed uh, on each of the bolts. I'm just getting these Allen head bolts nice and tight as well. We'll go ahead and tighten down the remaining five brackets and the 
top nut is the bigger nut, so it'll take a 17 millimeter, and then the two bottom nuts are 13 millimeter. I like to tighten down the bracket first before I start messing with the rib cert. That way, when I tighten the rib cert down, it is compressing against the frame nice and snug. Now, the manual says to actually do this before you install the bracket. I've never had any issues with it. Again, not condoning it, but this is the way that I do it, and it works for me. I want to give you some decent instructions on, on how to do so. We're getting it nice and tight. Do that for all of the brackets remaining on the truck. Now we'll go ahead and tighten down all of the bolts for the step rail. And again, getting these nice and snug exactly where you want them to be before you compress them. I realize this is a really bad camera angle. I apologize about that. It's kind of hard to find uh, good camera angles underneath a truck with a DSLR and a tripod. Uh, so hopefully this is uh, beneficial for someone out there. All right, getting that nice and tight. That done, you have your step rails completed. Now, if you want to see any videos about the future projects of this Dodge Ram 1500, make sure you subscribe below. Uh, what I'll be doing next is I'll be dipping the rims and the badges. I'll be removing the pinstripe. I'll be putting on a tonneau cover uh, and possibly um, tinting the windows also. So subscribe if you want to check those videos out. As always, I appreciate you watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace.